Hey everyone, Carrie Ann Carter at Carrie Ann Carter Group, and I'm over here with Dave Fleming, Hi. my clients. These wonderful, wonderful uh, clients of mine just just uh, closed on this in December. Tell us what you're doing here. We are putting in in for heating. Old home has no heating in it, and we have really uneven floors. So by putting in all this tubing, we're going to have a really warm floor, high efficiency heating, and a super flat floor. So all of the waves are going to go away. Oh my gosh, so you pulled up all the wood floors and you laid down what this material this is like a this is tyvek this will keep it waterproof so as that liquid material goes down it doesn't leak down through the floors into the basement it'll dry nice and hard as if it's a concrete floor but it'll be a warm slab with all the hot water running through these tubes that's remarkable okay dave explain to me what happened when you guys bought this house because it needed to be totally renovated gutted uh, gut to stud you guys opted to pull the floors up entirely and you did this at your other home um, it's a radiant heat system that runs through the entire house explain to me the tubing material so we used the existing boiler that powers the radiators in an old home but we just ran lots of um, half inch tubing 4,500 feet of tubing throughout the house so that that hot water goes through the small thin tubing rather than through large radiators. Got it. The floors would heat up to roughly 75 degrees to keep the home at 70 degrees all winter long. A super even heat throughout the whole home all year round. That's amazing. Okay, so this will completely level on its own. The, yes, because it's so watery that gravity will allow it to level uh, and fixing all of the waves that have formed over a hundred years of this home standing. Okay. This was a traditional um, compartmentalized space. You guys opened it up entirely. Um, this material is almost acting like a pool. It's holding in all of the liquid material. How, what is that stuff made out of? The that's stuff a, they're pouring. That's a gypsum concrete. Rather than Portland cement and some of the heavy aggregate that's in cement, it's gypsum, the same stuff that's in drywall, okay. as well as a bonding material, sand, sand and water. Majority of it's water. So it's lightweight where you don't have to overstructure the house okay. in order to put it in place. It's, it's about the same, it's a little bit less, uh, it's lighter than tile flooring, but roughly wow. the same. So. So how fast does it dry? In 90 minutes we can walk on it. Wow, that's So by amazing. this afternoon we'll be able to walk on a nice smooth flat floor. That's amazing. Once this is done and dried, then what are you going to do to the floor? We're going to be able to put a floating hardwood floor over the top of it. Just that to snap together hardwood floor, real oak on top of it. It'll give it that nice warm character of the house. But I don't have to put down any carpet because I have warm floors. So I can have hardwood throughout the whole home. Um, and it's that newer engineered hardwood, so it'll last a long time, snap together, be perfectly flat and silent, no and, creaks. And warm in a and cold warm. climate state. That's awesome. I can personally attest when I sold uh, Dave and Nicole's home how comfortable it was because it was a Christmas sale. That house was cozy and comfortable. All three levels will be completed this way. I love it. Where was the idea generated from? Where did you get the idea? Um, I... I lived in a small house before and I wanted to get rid of the radiators. How do you get rid of the radiators without running ductwork and saving space in a home? That was what my Google search found. It led me to um, understand more about radiant heat. It's very common in Europe, probably the most traditional way of replacing radiators in old homes. Agreed. And that is how we discovered this. Awesome. And it's gotten more intense and crazy about it. It's awesome. Awesome.